more testaments a person they're not telling exactly what they, what's his first name family name Mashiach he's saying I'm from Persian and lives for tens of years in the Holy Land of Israel but I cannot forget what that happened to me once when I visit Afghanistan for business he was in a small city close to the border of Pakistan and the British were ruling in India in those years the villagers the people who lives in the village over there they are very brazen and aggressive warriors and because that they are very very dangerous so you need to come to like agreements with them that they will not uh, attack you in one of the times when they went together with soldiers that were protecting them those warriors from the villages went to their caravan and wanted to attack them but then they saw on him that he's Jewish and they started to ask him questions and they recognized that I'm foreign and that I'm not Muslim and they didn't touch me and they started to investigate me and I told them that I'm a Jewish mer merchant from Persian from Paras and they allowed me to speak with their leader and that's what he told me this person named Nun Mashiach is saying that the leader of that tribe in Afghanistan is saying we know that we're coming from from the Israeli tribes we have been told that uh, like from earlier generations every old person is telling the next and we were following the Bible like the Jewish people until the Muslims started to force people to to convert to Islam and we've been forced to convert and it was their tradition that they know that 100 years before the first Muslim people came to their area people from a tribe from tribes who were worshiping idols that were serving fire came and attacked them and took everything they found and also many ancient books they took from them and because of that fact many of the principles of the religion they lost them because they didn't have no uh, written book just only the memories that they told each other and because of all those difficulties and the consistent fear the connection to the Torah and to the tradition became weaker and weaker and when the representatives of Islam came to them and threatened them to accept Islam on themselves they didn't have a choice and when they told them that they also believe in uh, the unity of God they accepted on themselves the Islam to be saved from death but they are still keeping their tradition and they know and remember that they are coming from the tribes of Israel we have many, many stories like that.